can shoot guns, you can roll a ball. I got one! Good for you, but I've gotten like three turduckins, so I'm definitely still winning. Oh yeah? I'll show you a turduckin. How about that? Well, you hit two and I'm still winning, so you suck. Oh yeah? Well, you suck. <laughs> You're just a sore loser and you still suck. What's up and welcome back guys. So today what we're gonna be doing is a little bit of density versus a little bit of speed. So for those of you who don't know much about guns, density tends to stop bullets. Speed typically makes it through density. Now the question is, how dense really is a bowling ball per se? I've got two bowling balls. This one, it's about five pounds. It's nothing too crazy. And then I've got oh, this one. It's probably closer to 20 pounds. It's got a lot more weight to it. So what I want to do is let's take a couple popular rounds that are notorious for going fast. First up is the nine millimeter, and then I'm going to follow that with two, two, three. So what I'm going to do is hit the bowling ball a couple times with nine millimeter. See if I can't get a crack or something off it. I don't know. Those things are pretty thick. My money is if any of them are going to break, the orange one is because it's so much lighter and almost feels a little more hollow on the inside. So let's set that thing up and put a couple rounds on it and see what happens. So nine millimeter up first. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't at least a little bit concerned about that GoPro over there or at least my safety. Let's see what happens. Don't hit it, don't hit it. Oh, and it hit it. So the only thing I'm seeing on here, see if it'll focus, is that right there. I'm not sure what happened there i mean like i don't think i don't think the bullet would have just went right into the ball like that i know it definitely hit but i don't see anywhere else where it would have so that's definitely strange i'm gonna put a couple more rounds on it and just see what happens all right here we go with the nine millimeter again i'm gonna try to hit it two more times we'll see if i can get it before it falls off the table or kills my gopro again Cause that first hit was just kind of weird. Let's see if we can get it to do it again or at least do something different. Alright, here we go. Alright, it didn't hit the GoPro. Those look a lot more solid. Okay, this is definitely weird. So. There's another new hit. And there's the other one. So right next to each other. So all I can guess is that the nine mils are actually hitting the bowling ball and something about the plastic that it's made of. Those are pretty warm. Something about the plastic that it's made of is actually moving out of the way and letting the rounds just go straight into the ball, I guess. I'm gonna set up the heavier one and see if it does the same thing. Here we go with the heavy ball now. I'm genuinely getting more and more concerned about my GoPro every time I do this. Oh, oh that was close. I really gotta find a better system for this. And that did a completely different thing. Okay. So there's definitely something up with that orange ball because that's our heavy ball. That's hit number one. That's hit number two while it was kind of rolling off the table. But like, so a little focus. That is, that is awesome. I don't know how well you guys can see it, 
but like that acrylic or plastic whatever it's made of looks super cool on the inside and there's just like multiple layers and there's some kind of core in there maybe that's why it shattered so much right there is i hit some kind of weird something <laughs> let's hit it a couple more times see if we can't open it up some more and if not we're gonna step it up to a bigger gun so in an attempt to preserve my table i moved the gopro and the bowling ball up to the hill so my gopro stopped falling over and uh so i don't have to keep resetting this every time I'm gonna hit it with three more rounds of nine millimeter. I'm gonna try to hit towards that same spot that I was hitting earlier, see if we can get it to break apart some more. Cause I really wanna see one of these things like break in half and see the core. But if nine millimeter is not fast enough, we know we brought something faster. I'm getting in a bowling ball today. Chunks of bowling ball everywhere. So as you can see, we've got bowling ball back here. We've got bowling ball back here. We've got some bowling ball over here. And not quite cracked in half. We definitely opened our bowling ball up some more. I was kind of hoping one of them went in there, but it doesn't look like it. All right, I'm gonna switch over to the orange ball again because it was doing a lot weirder things. So I'm gonna hit it a few times with the nine millimeter to see if it starts to break apart. If not, I'm just gonna switch out to the rifle and hopefully that does something. Maybe it'll go through it, maybe it blows it up. But I've got high hopes that I'm going to blow up this blue ball today. Blue bowling ball, you know what I mean. Alright, so every other time we've hit the orange ball, it just looks like it keeps penetrating it. So I'm going to hit it four times in a row while it's not going to roll off a table and see if that makes any kind of difference. Made that easy. <sighs> and these are all still warm. All four times. It's doing the exact same thing. So I don't know if it's made of something different and that's why it's lighter. I don't know if it's more hollow. That's why it's doing. I told Jerry I said what's up. So I don't know if it's more hollow and that's why it's doing it or why it's just blazing through this thing. But it's time to switch it up a little bit and use a real gun on these things and try to finish them off. All right. Four rounds on blue ball because at least that one's been doing something whenever I hit it. And then four rounds on orange ball. I'm really expecting this to blow it up because it's moving so much faster, but at the same time, it's carrying a lot more energy, but the bullet's a lot smaller. <laughs> oh man, that thing never stops being loud. I mean, I almost got what I was looking for there. I uh, made it down to a whole new level of bowling ball. So we've got blue, white, and orange now. That's definitely the weird little core piece that I heard earlier that I was thinking is why the bowling ball broke, but now we kind of broke it out of the ball mostly. All right. I'm not content though. I'm gonna try to hit it one or two more times in the actual middle and see if I can get the ball to split. Cause I didn't just come out here to crack a ball. I came out here to split a ball. So I loaded up 
four more T23s. Hopefully it doesn't take that many to break it, but I really want to break it. So here we go. <laughs> that one did it. So, mission accomplished. I split a bowling ball in half. Now, I know some people out there can split pins, but can you split balls? Don't take that the wrong way. All right, so we definitely finished this thing all the way off. That almost looks like it might be powder burn. I don't see anything left of those two, two, three rounds floating around in the dirt. I was kind of hoping I'd find some bullet fragments or something. So I wanted to see what had happened to those rounds as they were going through this plastic polymer stuff that bowling balls are made of. Stuff is a scientific term. All right, so we know what's inside a blue ball. We know we can break a ball. Let's set up the orange ball and see just how invincible it really is. All right, so far that orange ball has been the ultimate bullet sponge. Nothing's gone through it yet and nothing has cracked it yet. But I also haven't tried hard enough, I guess. So here we go with the 223. I'm gonna burn this thing a little bit and see what happens. You gotta be kidding me. All right, so I am fully convinced there is something up with this orange ball. The most I can even see on it, as far as damage goes, is that could be an exit hole. I'm not positive. We've got little, it looks like they could be exit wounds, but at the same time, it looks like it could have just been around going by and grazing it. So that's the most that's happened to this thing. And I can't even be sure what that's from. So my professional advice to you, if you take one thing away from this video, the only thing I want you to know is, Next time you get into a firefight at a bowling alley, hide behind the orange ball. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>